Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So today we're back on the Britannia, Model Works Britannia. And uh, we're going to start looking at the braking system. So uh, this is all the parts that I've got. Um, a friend of mine has uh, manufactured this these crazy brackets for me, which I'm very grateful for. And we've got the um, the corresponding cylinder to go with that that he also made for me. I've made the the clevis, so that's that's all that the power side is ready to go. Um, I seem to have most of the externally visible parts. So we've got the the hangers, and we've got the the brake shoes, and most of the bolts I think to hold those on. Um, we've got some of the some of the uh, adapters. We've got some clevises, um, but we're we're missing this, a version of this that has three holes in it. We're missing those, and we're also missing the actual actuating rods. So um, that's something else I'm going to have to make. But we've got we've actually got quite a complete kit actually especially now we've built up all the um, brake cylinder and everything so um, what I'm thinking of doing is is um, assembling these to the brake shoes and then um, painting those as an assembly uh, and then once those are in place I can see then what's missing so uh, that's what we're going to do today is to uh, try and assemble these uh, roughly on the chassis just to see what they look like. So uh, that's uh, that's today's job. So as you probably saw um, from the uh, speeded up stuff. Um, these holes aren't quite big enough. They should be five mil, I think, just for clearance. These these pins are just a, f a shade under five mil. So I've um, I've just just taken them all off. Uh, I tried deburring them, that didn't make any difference. So what I'm going to do is uh, take these over to the milling machine and uh, drill them out. So I've just run those through with a 5mm drill and that's much, much uh, nicer now. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll deburr these parts because they, they do seem to have a bit of a sharp edge on them. So I'll just run the file over them very quickly and then we'll start assembling. Okay, so uh, I've just mocked up the first set, and they they seem to be fitting quite nicely. The long the longer arm sits towards the bottom. This is the bottom. Uh, these pins seem to fit okay. It all seems to line up quite nicely. So I'll uh, make up the other two sets, and then I can get them uh, painted. So that's the pins masked up. Um, I just didn't really want them to, they've got to slide through a painted surface anyway, so that's already quite tight. So I didn't want any more paint on, on those, but it'd be nice to get the heads painted. So we're, we're all ready to um, paint now. I'm gonna degrease and, uh, and then we'll take them outside and get them sprayed up. So that's all the brake hangers uh, primed. Possibly do with another coat, but uh, I think I'll probably just go go ahead with the black. 
because we'll put two coats of black on I think so we'll uh, go on with that okay so while the paint's drying um I'm missing some connectors so these are the short connectors with two holes but I need four connectors with three holes so I think basically they'll look something like that um, and these bolts need to go through so um, yeah I need to make four of those so I'm going to see if I've got some brass strip that I can use and drill a load of holes in it I don't have a lot of 2 mil um, brass but I found this piece which I should be able to get four of these out of so uh, I'm going to cut this into a slightly more sensible shape and uh, we'll crack on. I've marked out the, the holes now so I'm just uh, using an automatic centre punch to uh, centre pop them all ready for drilling. So I've um, done all, drilled all the holes now and I've laid out the rough width. Um, these will be slightly bigger but to be honest that makes them a bit stronger so I don't think that's a big problem. So uh, I'll get this these all cut out now and then I can clean them up with a file and uh, that'll be uh, job done. So I've um, bolted these all together now. Um, as you can see they're all different widths and lengths and so on so I'll, I'll just quickly go over them with a, a, a rough file and uh, just try and get them all looking roughly the same. After a decent bit of filing action we've got these four uh, connectors made up. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased with those. Uh, it's just a little job to do while the paint was or the primer was drying. So that's everything painted. So we'll we'll get all this back on the uh, loco now. Um, one interesting thing to note is that the the pin the pins that mount to the chassis are actually uh, held in place with the split pins, which is what I've got here. So that might be a bit fiddly because we'll be attaching the split pins behind the back the back of the brackets so I don't think we'll we'll get much um or very good uh, visibility of what we're doing there but I shall I'll try and film anyway so we can see you can see what I'm doing and uh, we'll get all these on Okay, so that's the um, the stretchers all in place now. So the next job is to uh, add in the linkages. Um, I've now assembled everything I've got um, except for the brake cylinder which will go here. What I'm going to do is um, call it a day on this video and the next video we'll, I'll get those um, M5 threaded bars done and we'll fit the uh, brake cylinder. So that's quite exciting. And that'll be the brakes done. So we're, we're definitely making some progress at the moment on the Britannia so I'm really pleased with that. So uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that, found it interesting, entertaining. Um, 
please let me know uh, in the comments if you've got any suggestions. Always like to hear from you. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, like, share and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.